In this video, we are going to use the skills we have seen in the previous videos to draw or illustrate a phospholipid bilayer using the free and open source software Inkscape. If you are here and find what I'm doing useful, please consider subscribing and leave your comments, ideas and requests below. Let us begin by drawing an ellipse. Select the ellipse tool and while holding the control key down, draw a perfect circle. Go up here and give it a dimension of 3 mm by 3 mm. Give it a brownish color and you do this by going to Object, Fill and Stroke and on the right side here, you will see different color algorithms like RGB, HSL, CMYK, Wheel, CMS, etc. Make sure fill is selected and then select wheel. Go to the wheel and select a brownish color by clicking on the outer wheel here and then insert the rectangle. You can choose arbitrarily or you can search for a particular RGB code and paste it in here. If you want to know how to get the same color for your illustrations like professionals do, please watch my introductory video on GIMP. There you're going to see how you can easily pick up the RGB color code from another paper. Now zoom in to about 500 times so that you have more control over your drawing. Call up the grid by hitting the pound sign on your keyboard or going to view and selecting page grid. Draw the tails at a length of about 6 millimeters. Select the pencil tool and set the mode to normal or to sphero path, whichever works. Set the smooth to about 30. Leave these other options as they are and under shape select known. Then go now and draw a wavy tail. To know more about the pencil tool, please watch my tutorial on the pencil tool. Then select this tail and go to stroke style on the right here and make the capping or endings rounded. You can choose to give the tail a color, I will leave it as black. Now pull guidelines to sit at equal distances from the edge of the circle using the grids as guide and take away the grid by hitting the pound sign on your keyboard or going to view and selecting page grid. Position the tail below the ellipse. Select the tail. Go up here and lower the selection or tail to the bottom of the page. Duplicate the tail by selecting it and pressing Ctrl G. While holding the Ctrl key down, pull the duplicate and align it with the second guideline. Go now to Object, Flip Horizontal. Also make sure the second tail is sitting under the circle. This is now your primary phospholipid building block. Select it and take Ctrl G to group. Click on the ruler to get rid of the guidelines. Using the selection tool, select the object. Now while the object is still selected, take Ctrl D to duplicate and while holding the Ctrl key down, pull the duplicate to sit to the side. Click on the duplicate once, then a second time to have handles. Grab this handle and rotate it and bring it to sit opposite the first building block. Adjust them to sit opposite each other. You can do this by either calling the grid and using them to guide you or by selecting both objects and going to Object, Align and Distribute and aligning them on the same vertical axis. Zoom to about 400. It is always easier to position new duplicate objects when you have the grids turned on. So if they are not turned on, go to View and then Page Grid to turn them on. Duplicate the object by selecting it and taking Ctrl D. And while holding the Ctrl key down, bring the duplicate to sit close to the first one. Select both now and duplicate again. Then bring the new object to sit close to its parent object. 
Repeat this as long as you want your first full lipid pie layer to be. Now let us go ahead and make two more copies of this so we have all together three. I'm going to select the object and take Ctrl D to duplicate and holding the Ctrl key down, I'm going to pull to the side to have the new object sit by the side. I'll repeat this process for the third object. We'll leave the first as it is. For the second object, I want us to select and duplicate the upper layer and bring it to sit behind the first and lower it one layer behind. Doing this several times, we're going to have a nice looking structure. Select the upper layer and take Ctrl G to group. Take Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it to sit behind the first one and push it a little bit to the right and lower it. Repeat this process several times. You now see what beautiful thing we have. Awesome. For the third one, I want us to bend it. Select the upper layer, take Ctrl G to group, and then select the lower layer, take Ctrl G to group, select the whole object, take Ctrl G to group. While the object is selected, click on the node tool, then go up here and select convert selected object to path. Then go to paths, path effect, click on the plus sign on the path effect palette, and search for bend. Once you see it, select it and choose Add. A blue line will appear along your object. Click on the Note tool here on the right, then the line will become green. Now this is a busier segment, so any distortions you do on this path will be transposed to the mother object. Go now up here and insert node segments by clicking. Usually a few will do. Then you can now go on to the Bezier line and holding the Alt key or the Option key down, grab the node and pull to bend your first full lipid bilayer to look a little bit fancy. That was a short tutorial showing how to create a lipid bilayer using simple shapes. Further, we have changed the look using the bend function of the path effect editor. And I have more good news for you. I am updating a collection of vector graphic illustrations. You can obtain this vector graphic for free by using my webpage below. Go visit it, subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you in your work or education. If you like what I'm doing, please leave your comments below and do consider subscribing if you've not yet done so. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.